Who's George Hill and what should you know about him? Let's talk about it. Old boy Kevin Garnett at 38 years old, hey, what had nothing to do with this? George Hill gives you everything Kyle Lowry gives you, but for a fraction of the call. Hill's played the same grown man game from 22 years old to 34 years old, over a decade. And mark my words, come playoff time, barring any health concerns, he'll be starting. Hey, hey, what? Hello. If we're talking two-man game, look no further than Hill. Deceptive cross, now hey, he's at the second level. Move in and out, right hand finish on the left side. Hill's been working dudes in the two-man game since 2008. And the crazy thing is, 13 years later, he's barely lost a step. They say the point guard's an extension of the head coach on the floor, and that's what George Hill is. He's the epitome of a student of the game, a calculated offensive genius that pays close attention to detail. And there's not a level on the floor that he can't score at off of the screen. This is critical for the six whose offensive identity is almost 25% too many. Backpedaling, backpedaling, scoop and score through a giant. Picture Tobias Harris as a 6'4 point guard. Of course, there's differences in their game, but both have specific spots on the floor where they're money. And they both play on grown man time. No friends and no fear on the court. Over the course of 10 plus seasons, he's developed a very scarce feel for the game. A player like Hill makes creating space and individual shots look a lot easier than it is. The Rocks on his right and he puts it left. When the defender comes left, he goes back to his right. He keeps the defense on his hip and gauges how much space he has the entire time. If bigs take the pain away, Hill can counter. Think about Philly's offense and each player's role. Their screener's committed to freeing guys so they can hit these spots. But not one of their shot creators is a point guard. Hill gives Philly offensive organization. And believe me, if he's got the rock with six or less seconds on the shot clock, he's shooting. That ball is not going to anyone else. That bodes well for the Sixers because Danny Green, Burke, and Shake have taken the team's highest volume of threes very late in the shot clock, and they're shooting 29, 28, and 20% on them. Whereas just a year ago, George Hill shot 56% from three on those same shots. He'll put buckets on anyone's head at any level. It just depends what the defense gives them off the screen. But, ooh! Boy, is he more than just a point guard. Hill shot 40% or greater on catch and shoot threes in seven of his past eight seasons. See, Hill's not one dimensional. He actually couldn't be anything Slide. further. If you tap into my videos, you're familiar with me talking about defenders that aren't welcome interfering with the two or three man game. Long story short, the Sixers break defenses down by playing a two on two or a three on three within the game of fives. Billy's trained to make teams pay if defenders outside of the two on two or the three on three interfere with the game within the game. That becomes a different kind of deadly when you put one, the league leader in three point three, percentage one, on his catch just a year ago on the perimeter. Another reason why Billy went out and got Hill is because of his ability to alleviate offensive pressure on his teammates. He's played for seven different organizations. Some former teammates include Tim Duncan, David West, Paul George, Rudy Gobert, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Chris Middleton. I say that to say this, George Hill is a star's best friend, and Philly has three of them. He shot 41% from deep on passes from Paul George, 46% from three on passes from LeBron, and finally 40% and 53% from three on passes from Giannis and Chris Middleton. As it is, teams gotta pick their poison when defending Philly. But there are some nights with real streaky shooting. Hill gives Philly a more than reliable shooter to pass to out of doubles or triples. So for a player like Ben or Joe or Tobias, Hill opens the floor up. It's like teams are welcome to still double or triple, but there's going to be at least two three-point assassins on the floor at all times now. The Sixers offense is built upon giving dudes the blues one-on-one, -on -one, but you can't convert that every possession. You need to ensure that if you have an opportunity to capitalize elsewhere, you're doing that. George Hill and his burner drastically increased that probability. Ba -ba, ba -ba, Splat. And speaking of giving dudes the blues, that's a grown man out there. He's been relegated to a different kind of role with LeBron and Giannis. They get enough grown man buckets where Hill doesn't have to do too much. Organize and shoot. But don't get it twisted. You look like food, you're getting bullied. And if he's coming off the bench, you're gonna see plenty of that. But how's the fit in Philly's system? First, he played five seasons under Dan Burke in Indiana, who's now a Sixers assistant coach. Popeye Jones, another Sixers assistant, was in Indiana for three of those five. Dave Yeager, another Sixers assistant, coached George Hill for a short period of time just a few years ago. Not only is he acclimated with a few guys on Philly's bench, but he's ran offenses very similar to Philly, most notably in Utah, where they love their double screen. 
This action is a big source of offense for the Sixers. He'll demonstrate it in different seasons on different teams that he can execute this action to perfection. That feel for the game we alluded to earlier allows him to probe until he finds or creates something he wants. The difference between him and Shake or Maxi or Quirk Maz is that he's a true point. That alone heavily impacts the identity of both units. His ball handling and ball distribution in the two-man game move it from effective to automatic. There's not a lineup on the floor that you can't plug him into. If he stays with that second unit, him and Dwight are going to give defenses a ton of problems, especially on the interior. He'll open up shots for his teammates and, for example, Shake, he won't have to be the primary playmaker, the primary ball handler. He'll be able to play more free. If he rocks with the starting unit, all you have to do is look back to his connection with LeBron, with Giannis, to understand what'll happen. If Simmons or Embiid screen and roll to the rack, you're likely looking at a bucket six, seven, or eight times out of ten. Their rolling ability, coupled with Hill's ability to shoot and distribute, is just too overmatching. Hill can also generate a bunch of Embiid buckets where he doesn't have to work real hard down low every possession. Screen and pop, screen and roll to a spot. That's it, it's that simple. Regardless of how you spin it, Hill's a massive get for Philly and the perfect fit for their system. Defensively, a battle-tested player like Hill is someone you love to have go to war for you. He's played in the playoffs 11 different times. He lives in the postseason. He'll give you better man-to-man -man defense than almost every other guard on the Sixers. Hill's a real sneaky defender that'll creep up on you and hawk you down. Length matters when you play a team like Brooklyn or Milwaukee, and Hill sports a 6'9 wingspan at 6'4. I keep telling you this, but George Hill's a grown man. His body's filled out, and he's been doing this a long time. In other words, teams can't press the issue with him and constantly attack him. He's played for some of the best defensive teams of the 2010s, and like I mentioned earlier, they were under Dan Burke and Popeye Jones. Hey, look, fam, that's all I got. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I got you at the Lakers breakdown tomorrow, so tap in. Are you crazy? Quick shout, my brothers, Theo, Mio, and Nick. I appreciate you all for helping elevate this vision and the entire mob. By the time I post this, or tomorrow, we'll be at 2K. And listen, I appreciate you all for real. Genuinely. I appreciate it. Comment down below, like the video, share with a friend, get at me on Twitter, do whatever you gotta do. But you know how we're rocking. Stay solid, baby. Stay solid, baby! Come on.